What's going on guys? It's Juju with Corey Covers All and I just wanted to uh, you know do a little test. We all uh, have seen the crazy videos of uh, the Gorilla Glue thing going on right now but honestly the stuff works great and I just wanted to do a quick video on uh, how great it could work. I don't know if it's gonna work but I figured let's test it out. So here's what, here, here's the deal. This uh, has a small crack in the radiator. This this uh, this car, it's got a small uh, crack in the radio radiator up here. I, I know where it's at because I found it uh, yesterday or a few days ago, and I haven't driven this car in 12 hours, uh, so it's been sitting. You can actually see where the uh, radiator fluid has been spraying out from right there. It's actually not a uh, real bad leak. Uh, I don't necessarily know if it's spraying out or whether it's just like the wind from underneath the car blowing it all over that area. So, But uh, I saw it with the car going in it that doesn't look that horrible. So we're going to stick some uh, grill glue on there and uh, see if that works and see how it looks like. All right, before we get going, there's a few choice, you know, tools that I'm going to use uh, to kind of prep it before we get going. And that's going to be uh, just a simple, like, couple napkins or a rag. I have a couple napkins right here with me. Um, didn't want to leave my camera out here in the street to uh, get stolen while I went and grabbed a rag. So I have a couple napkins. I'm going to wipe it down. Um, all it really is is the residual from the... Uh, uh, all the water has evaporated. It's just, you know, it's, it's, it's ultimately the uh, antifreeze. So I'm just gonna wipe that residual off, get it as dry as possible. And then I have a small little uh, thin dowel right here. See if you can see that here. Um, it's just a small wooden dowel. And well, I'm actually just gonna break that almost in half and use it as like a, pusher to break to kind of push into the crack it's very thin and then um, this is this is a brush this is an acid brush um, for like plumbing uh, and then uh, the uh, Gorilla Glue that we're going to use. This is the stuff. So uh, it's just the Gorilla Super Glue and that's what we're going to use. And see how strong it is and if it is strong enough to hold this radiator down here. So let's get you set up so you can see what I'm talking about and we'll get going on this. Here's the spot we're talking about right here. And if you can see it right around I get this little guy here. Right around here is an oval, like this. It's kind of like the side of, of an oval. So it's like an arch that comes up right here. I guess it's just heat sealed together. Um, it's not cracked. It's just it's coming out of that that uh, seal right there. So we're gonna clean it up. The shiny part that you see right there, it's just that antifreeze I was talking about. We're gonna clean that up. And then we're going to attempt to uh, put this Gorilla Glue on it and see how good it does. So let's do the cleanup. Okay, so what I decided to do was go ahead and add alcohol to the mix to get off, to get off all this stuff. Uh, you know, I want to make sure to get off all that radiator fluid and and, and uh, anything that the antifreeze that may be on that. So, go ahead and wipe it down really good, clean it off as good as I can, and get that back to the best normal state as possible. So, I'm just gonna wipe this down here and do it a few times dry it off check it out you know do it again over and over and you can see it's a little less little less of that shine which means a little less of that uh antifreeze but it's not all the way gone so i'm gonna go ahead go ahead and hit it again here now like I said, every once in a while drying it off to check to see where I'm at. And uh, 
I think that looks about as good as we're gonna get it for what we have. And uh, so next uh, we'll move on to uh, applying the uh, Gorilla Glue. And that's, you know, that's, that's really uh, what we, that's really what we're uh, wanting to see. What, is, is the Gorilla Glue gonna work? Who knows? Um, you know, that's a lot of pressure. There's no way to really get it in between that seal right here. Um, so who knows if we're gonna be able to get it to work, but I'm just gonna wipe this down as good as possible. And, uh, you know, apply pressure as much as you can. Just try to get it as dry, as good as, good as possible. All right. So now, let's go ahead and apply our Gorilla Glue. I'm gonna start kinda at the top and move down. Now, while I'm applying this, I'm not squeezing hard, I'm just barely squeezing it. Just basically enough to get on there. I'm gonna do one side at a time. I will do the other side. Now I'm gonna take my wooden dowel and I'm gonna use that to, to, to just kinda push what I have here into that crack the best I can. Cause that crack is our culprit. So we're gonna try to fill him as good as possible. I'm not worried about it looking cute, looking good. Because at the end of the day, if this doesn't work, the radiator has to repla be replaced anyway. So, we're going to just do our best to try to get it in to the crack here. And as I'm, as I'm doing this, I can feel that it's actually a little bit, it, it, it gets stuck right here, meaning that one side is higher than the other. So I'm going to put a little bead of glue on the back end of it here. So to start with, we're gonna, we, we've already put our first layer on and we, we, we wanted to, we started at the top here and what we did is our, we just worked our way down slowly, not squeezing hard, all the way until we reached the bottom of this seam. We then took our pushing stick that I showed you prior and you know, we pushed it into the seal here right now and, and right now I'm gonna kinda, kinda gonna push it again because I wanna see where we're at on the drying stage. Now, seeing as this, it's, excuse me, it is 50 degrees outside currently, you know, it's going to take a little bit longer for this to cure than it would on a regular day. Getting on it to dry, where it feels like it's starting to solidify. Um, it feels like it's starting to solidify. Um, we're gonna give it about, probably about 10 more minutes and uh, see where we're at. See you in 10. Okay, so we're checking on the first layer. And uh, you know, the first thing I did was I checked our, uh, the stick that we used to press down the glue with it feels nice and dry so that's a good a good uh indication that this is go ahead and feel this and yeah that's that's dry on, on all ends so next i'm going to do this side press it down like i did this side and then i'm going to add another layer to to this side and i'll use the brush to brush it on to make it nice and even and we'll do that a few times to give it a coating. So, next we'll do this seal right here. Now after applying, I'm gonna do the same thing and press, press it into the seal using that piece of wood. Now, we keep this stick over here to the side as an indication of where it's at in the drying process. Now on this other side, 
actually on this back side like I did the other side I'm gonna add a little bead to it and now leave it alone now over here I'm going to start with again the seal adding just a little bit there and then using that brush that acid brush for plumbing I'm gonna just kind of spread it around so it's a nice even layer all right now we'll let that other side dry we'll let this side dry and we'll come back and we'll do a third layer okay so now we're gonna check our wood here and that is dry so that's a good thing I'm gonna touch this it's a little bit still a little bit wet so we'll give it a few more minutes to dry up and we should be good so it's just taking a little bit longer again because it's around 50 and it's dropping as as the sun goes down out here and it gets a little darker so you know if we pan out you can kind of see it's getting a little bit darker outside so anyway um uh you know th as it gets darker it gets a little bit cooler so it's taking a little bit longer but um, it's almost dry and after it dries up here we'll, we'll kick on the car and see see how she does I now have my heat gun out and I've decided to use it to try to uh, speed up the process here combat the uh, cold weather and I'm not holding it too close because I don't want to melt the plastic here so I've got it on low, and I'm just holding it at a distance. I'm gonna try to help that uh, glue cure a little bit faster. All right, guys, it's that time to see if uh, that 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 uh, seal held up or if it didn't. Gorilla glue, do you work under pressure, literally, or do you not? Um, we're gonna check you out with this radiator. So, guys, let's see if it let's see if it held up. Let's go. Well guys, we can see that uh, it worked and uh, Gorilla Glue held through to its name. It is strong and it works great. Uh, I'm pretty surprised that it, it did work as well as it did. We'll have to uh, circle back in about a couple weeks to see if it holds any, any longer than that. But for now, there's a W on the chart. Um, pretty cool experiment. If you like what you saw, Go ahead and hit that that thumbs up button. In the wraps of things, Gorilla Glue is really strong. If it'll hold the pressure of a radiator, it'll rip your skin off. Don't put it on your lips, don't put it on your hair, don't put it anywhere. Don't let anybody tell you that the stuff is safe for you to be using on your skin. It is not. Uh, anyway, guys, thanks for tuning in. Again, if you wanna see more, hit that subscribe button. If you wanna know when my when my video is dropped hit the bell button but for this video for now smash that thumbs up anyway guys thanks a lot subscribe hit the bell button to get my next newest video or to be notified about my next newest video i'll talk to you guys later juju i'm out of here